Park. Last month, we told you about a local police officer at the center of an excessive force lawsuit. 19 News learned that two months later, that same officer also let a drunk driver go minutes before he went on to kill two people in a crash. Thanks for joining us at 11 o'clock. I'm Jeff Slauson. New tonight, investigator Kelly Kennedy got her hands on the body camera video from the alleged use of force traffic stop. Kelly's joining us with the latest in these new developments. Kelly. Yeah, Jeff, well, the most frustrating part about all of this and that the actual altercation, there was video, but there was no audio in that part at all. I reached out to the city of Walton Hills to see why that crucial portion of audio was missing. But so far, they have not returned my phone calls. The body camera video starts with Walton Hills police officer CJ Smith attempting to pull over 31 year old Amanda Mills in February of 2022. Mills pulls over, but Officer Smith yells at her to pull into a nearby parking lot several times, but she does not respond. Do it now! Pull it! As you can see, the officer says something we can't hear to Mills. She responds, and then Officer Schmidt is seen ripping her out of her car. There is 15 minutes of audio missing from this point on. The city said parts of the body camera video were redacted to protect personal information. But no one has returned my calls about why this specific audio is missing. On another officer's body camera during the same moments, there is some audio, but it's difficult to hear. All you can hear is this. And a few seconds later, Mills screaming. <laughs> Cell phone video Mills took during the altercation captures some of the missing audio. Stop it! Oh! Get out. What are you doing out. To me? out of the car. Out of the car. What did I do? Get out of the car. Not your show, it's mine. Later on in the body camera video, the audio starts up again. Dad, I, my car was overheating. I was trying to get to the gas. No, my car wouldn't go anymore. It was smoking. A judge dismissed a charge of failure to comply. Mills pleaded no contest and was found guilty of speeding. 39 in a 35. But the original report said Mills was going 66 in a 35. The speed you were going is really I, dangerous. I understand. Really dangerous. And then when I get behind you and you keep going, really dangerous. Dude, I really didn't see Listen, you go. That, that doesn't matter. Why did you see me against the car like that? Because you're obstructed. The excessive force lawsuit against Officer Smith and the Walton Hills Police Department was filed in federal court in February. Mills' attorney told 19 News she has potentially permanent injuries to her chest. I learned two months later, in April of 2022, the same officer pulled a drunk driver over for speeding. But the traffic stop he made on 26-year-old Nicholas Monacino couldn't have been more different from Mills. In fact, it ended with a fist bump. Take it down about 30 miles an hour. Hey, cool. All right. Uh, hey, hey, by the way, yeah. how's your family doing? Everyone's good. Officer Smith then lets Monticino go. 12 minutes later, he crashes into the back of a couple on a motorcycle. Both of them died from their injuries. Monticino was intoxicated, twice the legal limit and cocaine was also found in his system. I later learned Officer Schmidt was working as the police chief at Notre Dame College in South Euclid. A dean at the college told us they were aware of the complaints against Schmidt and that they had conducted internal investigations. Now, I did reach out to the city of Walton Hills to see if Schmidt is still employed there, but they have declined to comment at all because of the pending litigation. Reporting live in Cuyahoga County, Kelly Kennedy, 19 News.